My name is Sophie and today I will bring Mariana's tips to you. We all know that losing weight is not easy at all. To lose weight, we need to follow a systematic method. We have to plan it and we have to be willing to follow the plan. There are two ways we can achieve the goal of losing weight, by changing our eating habits and by changing our exercise habits. As far as changing our eating habits, we can say that we should avoid junk food, we should increase the intake of fruit and vegetables, avoid fried food, avoid sweets, and avoid alcoholic drinks. As far as changing our exercise habits, we can go up the stairs instead of using the elevator, walk instead of using the car, ride a bike instead of taking public transport, go to the playground with our children and play with them, make little changes in our daily lifestyle. The physiology of exercise tells us that one pound of fat equals to 3,500 calories. So it takes 3,500 calories burned to lose one pound of weight. Let's see now an example on how Isabel can lose 20 pounds of body weight in 12 weeks. She should burn 70,000 calories. The idea is to reduce the amount of calories in her daily diet and increase the amount of exercise gradually. Consulting a nutritionist could be advisable for planning our daily menus. The plan goes like follows. In the first and second week, Isabel should reduce 500 calories per day in her diet. In 14 days, that equals to 7,000 calories. As far as exercise goes, she should burn 200 calories per day and start exercising little by little. 200 calories in 14 days equals to burning 2,800 calories. Between the diet and the exercise, she should burn 9,800 calories in the first two weeks. In the third and fourth week, the diet will be the same and the exercise should be burning 250 calories per day and start exercising a little harder. So the exercise will burn 3,500 calories and the diet and the exercise should be an amount of 10,500 calories in the third and fourth week. In the fifth and sixth week, we continue with the same diet and as far as exercise goes, she should burn 300 calories per day, which is 4,200 calories of exercise. And between the diet and the exercise, she should burn 11,200 calories. In the seventh and eighth week, the diet is the same. The exercise should be burning 350 calories per day, which equals to 4,900 calories and the total amount of calories burned with the diet and the exercise is 11,900 in the seventh and eighth week. In the ninth and tenth week, Isabel should continue with the same diet and the exercise should be burning 400 calories per day, which is 5,600 calories, and a total amount of 12,600 calories in the ninth and tenth week. And now we come to the last two weeks, the 11th and the 12th week, with the same diet, and the exercise should be 500 calories per day, which is 7,000 calories, plus 7,000 calories of the diet, that equals to 1,400 calories in the 11th and 12th week. The conclusion is that in 12 weeks, Isabel can lose 20 pounds because she would have reduced those 70,000 calories she needed to get rid of. But what kind of exercise do we need to take to reduce those calories? In the next video, Mariano will talk about this.